Oh god damn it. <laughs> I keep <laughs> This is the problem with streaming on both YouTube and Twitch. I keep having the wrong chat box enabled. There it is. G'day! Welcome to the stream. <laughs> you didn't oh I'm gonna have to switch it over when we get to the game scene as well. Oh I'm done. <laughs> Oh, welcome to the stream. It is I am Melody. Hey, hello, Nod. Welcome to the stream. I only just started. You missed, you missed my goof. At least I hope. <laughs> anyway, uh, today we're playing Hive Swap, um, which for those, ah, uh, goddammit. <laughs> ah well. Ah well. Uh, you're gonna see another one as soon as I switch over to the game scene, <laughs> but oh, oh well. Uh, so, for anyone who doesn't know what Hive Swap is, it's a... It's a point-and-click adventure game based in the Homestuck universe, which, uh... I have opinions on Homestuck. <laughs> I used to be a really big fan, but then I just sort of lost interest in it. And then, like, a few years back, I... <laughs> I decided, I, I realized, oh, Homestuck ended? You know, I'm kind of curious, how did it end? And so, <laughs> so I went back and read most of it. I skipped over some of the, the long, long bits of dialogue. Um, and I, in the end, I think it has a really good premise, but it's held back by an author who has absolutely no idea what he's doing. But it, it's definitely an experience. <laughs> uh, as for Hive Swap, I don't know that much about it. I did see a playthrough of Act 1 a while back. Uh, I don't remember. I, so I know the gist of what happens in Act 1. I haven't. I, I don't remember any of the actual, like, puzzles and stuff. Um, and I have seen absolutely nothing of Act 2 besides, like, the trailer. And I refuse to do the friend sim, or whatever they're called, pester quest, something along those lines. I think it's like, basically a visual novel that introduces you to some of the characters from Act 2. And I, 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 I'm not here for that. <laughs> I'm here for the, I'm here for the, the actual adventure. <laughs> I don't know. I just saw this a while back and thought, you know what? You know what? <laughs> Man, I, I'm, I'm interested, let's give it a go. And so then I think, I don't remember if I caught it on sale or not, but I got it. And now I have it. T it took me, I, I was going to put it on the schedule and then I was like, oh no, why, why, why isn't it capturing? Why isn't it working? But I got it working in the end. So now I can <laughs> stream it. Let's go over to the game scene. Here we are, and now I need to put the right chat box up. Oh no, that's me. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Professional streamer, guys. Professional streamer. <laughs> okay. Hopefully... Are the audio levels okay? I, I usually just keep them about the same, but, uh... It might actually be a bit low. The music's a bit quiet in this game. Let me turn it up a little. There we go. That should be fine, I think. I hope. <laughs> Anyway, why is it? Okay, I hear something. Okay. Uh, why is there? I haven't started the game yet. Why is there a continue button? Normally, I'd expect that to be grayed out, but oh well. And there's the classic Homestuck Sun. Let's just get into it. So I do know that. This is, it's loosely connected to the main Homestuck chronology. Like, it doesn't affect the actual plot, but it's set within the world of Homestuck. Like, I think these kids are like... Oh look, it's a dude! It's a monster dude! 
I did not remember that it starts like this, it just immediately, <laughs> immediately bad things happen. <laughs> Music's kind of bumping though. House is cluttered as expected. Your name is. Sorry, you're going to need a minute. <laughs> okay, you gave yourself a minute to freak out because of the monster, the thing with all the legs and teeth. The one you've barely got away from. Minutes up. <laughs> you take a deep breath. Let the un uncertainty slip away into the toothy arm wiggling darkness and focus on what you know. Your name is Joey Claire. You live just outside of town. Yeah. I can't read. <laughs> Not good at reading. You live just outside the town of Haunt Switch. Of course. <laughs> You are in no particular order, a puzzle solver, a semi-orphan, a dancer of multiple schools, an aspiring veterinarian, and a big sister. <laughs> speaking of that, speaking of, that monster, the one you, that barely missed eating you alive, only you're not thinking about that right now. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely Homestuck style writing. <laughs> it, might, it might be headed back outside, where your little brother is. You've got to warn him. Okay, so I guess now we can start clicking around at stuff. Ah, of course, the classic <laughs> put important words in capital letters. Your mum, uh, oh, mum won this award around the same age as you are. How, how do I read? <laughs> mum won this award around the same age as you for being best at ballet. It's pretty. <laughs> cool. Oh, is this an... I thought it was a safe. Is it an oven? <laughs> it's very easy to make your very own cake. Or something like that. You were really excited to get this for your birthday last year, but you ran out of the baking stuff pretty quick. You could use regular sugar and flour or whatever, but it's not like you... It's not like you have those things just sitting around. <laughs> Who does, honestly? People with mums, you guess? I have that stuff sitting around. Except I don't bake. <laughs> I use it for cooking. Actually, I don't use the sugar at all. I think my brother got it for like... I don't know, having coffee or something? I don't drink coffee. Your babysitter gave you this for your birthday. Joey, she said. This wizard's the best. He lives in his little wizardy orb. Just swimming in spells and glitter. He'll protect you. Look what he's doing right now. Your babysitter loves wizards, obviously. She's pretty great. So if I recall, her babysitter is... Uh... I don't know if she has... Does she have the same name in, in the... Because I know there's like two... <laughs> there's too many universes in Homestuck. There, there's... There's the human world, which is split between Alpha and Beta, and I don't remember which one's which. <laughs> it's Homestuck. <laughs> You've got more pressing concerns right now than the book report you have to hand in on Monday. Besides, none of these books are appropriate choices for a book report, according to your teachers. <laughs> your teachers seem oddly fixated on award-winning books where beloved dogs are introduced and then inevitably die. <laughs> oh no, is the dog? There's a dog in this game. Is the dog going to die? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you kind of hate your teachers sometimes. Bed? This is a raised and cushioned platform where you spend several hours every day, unconscious and hallucinating. Usually, while the majority of other people in the continent are also doing the same thing. Of course. Of course. Puppy surprise! Puppy surprise is having puppies! How many? That's the surprise! <laughs> what the heck is this? Ah, whenever you look at this thing, the song from that commercial runs through your head. Like a snake monster on an autumn afternoon. It's a great place to stash your keepsakes. Where they stay as safe as a teen hiding in her room from a snake monster. I will say, as dumb as Homestuck tends to be, the writing does have a certain charm to it. 
You reach inside the expectant plush canine and puppy surprise is having puppies. Oh, hello. That wasn't the one I was trying to click on, but sure, you collect the diary key from its plush hiding womb. While you're at it, you think maybe you should keep this beautiful heirloom of your mom's close. Just a feeling. Deep, inexplicable, impossible to ignore feeling. The classic point and click trope of collecting things even though you don't know what they're going to be used for. Your babysitter got you this junior veterinarian's med kit. It's kind of important to you, so you think you'll leave it here for now. You would re it would really bust you up if something happened to it. Something's going to happen to it. <laughs> I can tell. One day you hope to be a veterinarian. Then you can be the one caring for fuzzy-faced baby critters. So when someone catches you in the act of sm snuggling them all and tells you to take a hike, you can flash your vet badge and say you're here on professional medical business. And then they'll have to take a hike, not you. <laughs> What is this? Your walkie-talkie, half of a set. Your brother has the other one. Could come in handy. Indeed it could. Feels a little light. Uh-oh. Yep, no batteries. You remember cannibalizing the walkie-talkie when something else needed them, but you can't recall what that something else was. Okay. So we need batteries. Are they in the, in the oven? Okay. What is up with Joey and talking about being busted up. What is uh, I remember this. I don't remember what they're called. You know, like, man throw. That, that's what it was. <laughs> this is Sir Bappy Poor sort of. Your beloved man throw chap. <laughs> you tend to his fuzzy whims and needs. When you, when you trouble to imagine what they might be. <laughs> what a daring dream to combine the finest qualities of the animal kingdom with the nobility of humanimals. Wait, you meant humanity. <laughs> anyway, Sir Pappy Porswatter will have to tend to his own fussy whims and needs for a while. You, you've got a lot of crap on your plate right now. Oddly blunt, but uh... <laughs> Second one. <laughs> Is that fucking Bubsy? Apologies for the swearing, I do that sometimes. What is Bubsy doing here? Oh, it, it's, it's not even a bootleg, it's just straight up Bubsy. Okay. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? That's what Bubsy would say if he were here. He'd never stop saying it. You'd hear it in your head, forever echoing like screams echo still ac across still water. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. He's f oh jeez, there's more, there's more of them. And then there's a topiary that looks like one. Yikes, more of them? Gentrica gentrification is a real monster. I don't know what that word means. Blistering social commentary aside, you sincerely hope your brother, you and your brother, aren't killed and eaten by these eyeless horrors. Oh, oh these are probably... Yeah, these probably come from the troll world, but I rem... I was thinking they might have been something different, but like... Because I remember all of the troll uh, monsters being white, and these are black then maybe that's just a, a weird thing. You briefly muse on the metaphorical significance of the flashing light. <laughs> what could it represent? The past? The future? America? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, it was a good idea to play this game. <laughs> it's your stupid brother. You need to get in touch with him. Poor puppy. What if that icky, snaky thing hurt her? Well, you'd use your budding veterinary skills to patch her, her up and make it all better. But you'd also be very angry. <laughs> right now, she doesn't seem to want to come out of her doghouse. You don't blame her. <laughs> Rem remember when you were raking up those leaves? Your dog knocked Jude over and you laughed. 
and then everything turned to monsters. Ah, memories. <laughs> I can click on the moon. That is the moon, right? There's a bunch of stars out, so I'm assuming. <laughs> the sun has just set, making for a glorious autumn eve. As such, autumnal evening glory radiates from the heavens, kissing the clouds on its way down to earth. Stupid clouds, all untouchable and ephemeral and stuff. <laughs> Alright, we need to find batteries. Oh, I can't click on the hungry, hungry hippos. Second mum. This game is on... Oh, is this supposed to actually be Mother 3? Because it, it's Mother... Uh, but no, no... <laughs> and that looks like... Like Paula. But it's clearly referencing Mother 3 with the only available in Japan thing. Oh well, it's a joint reference. <laughs> this game is only available in Japan, but there's this kid at school that says his uncle works at a games company, and he says... <laughs> And he gets to play all sorts of secret games before they even come out here. He runs off of the mouth like he has all the, all this insider information and sources inside the game companies. But honestly, you think he's just desperate for attention. As are most supposed insiders. You tend to ignore him and focus on more pleasant things, like this super cool poster. <laughs> Second Mom rules. Sure does. What's this one? You love Block Hustle. The game of descending columns that- oh, it's freaking Tetris! Descending into columns that disappear as lines are filled, but you are- You can only find a poster of the American box art. Of course. What is this one? The bounty hunter's advice for dealing with monsters would probably be to shoot at them. Or change your shape. Or both at once. She's cool, but pretty difficult to- Oh, is that Metroid? Yeah, because that's like Samus and that's Ridley. <sighs> Reference. Can't click on the, on the My Little Ponies or the Jenga, though. How are you playing? You love your video game console. <laughs> You're a computer games enthusiast at heart. But you can't help but enjoy the tactile sensation of a controller in your hand as you fight evil and save animals and etc. Lots of etc. A, a pro, pro, prodigious collection of titles? I, I can never tell what's a real word and what's not when it comes to Homestuck. They make up so many words, but then they also just use complicated real words. A prodigious collection of titles for your console's hungry, cartridge-shaped mouth. All the best ones are here. Well, all the ones you happen to own are here. You could spend all day listing them. There's Bubsy. There's... Mentioning Bubsy made you feel a little queasy, so you think you'll stop there. You might go lie down for a bit, actually. <laughs> I, want... I, I feel like, you know, Hungry Hungry Hippos has batteries in it, surely. What if we... that's not what I meant to do, but oh well. Look. You don't have much time to record in... you don't have much to record in here on account of the... humdrum of your... humdrum life you lead. Why did I play a game with so much reading? <laughs> but you think today will be a different story. Maybe you should take a moment to record a note now, just in case this is your last chance to set down your final words before your tragic demise at the hands of a, a horrible snaky thing. Okay, let's do that. You unlock and open your diary. Nice. Juicy secrets, here you come. Except they're just your boring secrets, so you don't care. Ah, oh, yeah, there she is. The babysitter. I... You usually don't have much to record in here on account of the... Oh. Shush. Maybe something from your past will shed light on today's... Terror mysteries. Some some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The, the key kicking off. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connection. Okay, I I I make a lot of run-on sentences, but this feels like a run-on sentence. 
Some little detail mentioned offhand and forgotten. The key kicking off a casual cascade of connections that terminates a catastrophe of snake monsters. Too many C words. April 13th, of course. Of course it's April 13th. Nothing ever happens on a day that isn't April 13th. You know, I'm stuck. But that's not true. There are several significant days, but it, April 13th is when it all started. 1994. Dear Diary. Ho oh, hum. Um, nothing much happened today. I tried to make some new friends at school, so... You know, to maybe expand our social circle beyond just me and Jude's friends all the time. Question mark. That didn't sound like a question. Wait, is it weird to call my brother's friends my social circle? Ah well, you know what I mean, Diary. I don't have any friends I can really call mine, so I'm trying to branch out. I guess it's better than calling them my web ring. <laughs> the kids at school are jerks, though. They called me a poser with it. <laughs> okay, I guess it is 1994, so... I guess using poser makes sense. They called me a poser when I tried to talk to them about games I like and stuff. Between you and me, I think a bunch of the kids at school might be evil. <laughs> Jeez, now I'm sounding all paranoid like my brother. They're just up to no good. I can feel it. Joey. June 12th. Dear Diary. Oh, June 12th. Isn't that... Yeah, that's the other. Well, that's the second significant date. Are they going to skip ahead to November 11th next? <laughs> Phew, first day of summer vacation. I can't wait to get a to get a break from all those clowns at school. <laughs> Sometimes I think what I really need is vacation from humanity. <laughs> Foreshadowing. October 25th. Oh, that's another significant date. <laughs> 1025. I think th those are all the significant dates. There's 413, 612, 1025, and 1111. I don't know any of these days, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're really only important for, like, Homestuck. I think 413 was when uh, Homestuck started, and it's also the birthday of the main character, as much as there can be a main character with such a big ensemble cast. Uh, 612 was when the, the, the troll arc started. And it's the birthday of the main troll. 1025, I don't remember what happened, but I just know that it's like 413 plus 612. And then 1111 was when basically we went space time rewind and just reset the universe. <laughs> Something like that. I can't believe I haven't recorded an, an entry since the beginning of last summer. <laughs> of course, we, we, we had to. <laughs> She couldn't record anything because we had to skip to the important dates. <laughs> Needless to say, I've been back to school for a while now. Next summer can't come soon enough. I come home to a drunk babysitter again today. Sure is some quality adult supervision we youngsters are getting around here. <laughs> she means well enough, though. Haven't heard from Pa in weeks. Last we saw of him, he popped in the house to drop off some more stupid mummies or globes or whatever, then skipped off to go on more adventures. What a bozo. Also, how lame is it that he made us call him Pa instead of Dad when we were drunk? <laughs> I miss Mum. Aww. If this is going to be the last entry in your diary, then by gum you're going to scare the bejesums out of whoever finds it <laughs> once you're snake chow. There it is, November 11th. <laughs> Dear diary, forgive my hasty and nervous scribbling. I'm kind of scared, but maybe also a bit excited. Anyway, I can't talk much right now. There's a sly and cunning monster on the prowl. Perhaps hungry for kid meat. <laughs> Two. Uh, so I've got to... Okay, I don't have a darn clue what I have to do, but I'll fill you in later once I do it. <laughs> Satisfied you've done your duty... Via V? Posterity? I don't know. Like, it looks like vis a vis but I'm guessing it's supposed to have French pronunciation. <laughs> in case the worst should happen, you you relock your diary and hide the key again, safe and sound. Okie doke. I appreciate that she has one of those four color pens. I used to have one of those. You just spend just spend all day clicking it. 
Since she's been gone, you've been- you've seen less and less of Pa over the years. You guess he had greener pastures to move on to. Or bluer beauties. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we'll see what that means later on. <laughs> like, I already know because I know who her Pa is. But, uh, I'm pretty sure it's also referenced in the game. That little girl there? She's destined for big things. Big hopes, big fears, big worries, big loneliness. Now hold on, pull yourself together. What would your mum say if she knew you were thinking like that? You really wish she knew. Damn. Big sad. Should I check? I should probably check all the posters. Ginger Rogers. Gosh, she's really something. The greatest tap dancer who ever clattered gracefully across the screen. Probably? No wait, definitely. And still kicking. The story keeps happening. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's the never ending story. <laughs> oh, I just realized. Joey has those glow in the dark stars up on it. I love those things. Maybe I should get some from. Oh, no, but my ceiling's kind of stupid. I've got one of those popcorn. popcorn ceilings. They're dumb. The story keeps happening. <laughs> just look at that childlike empress. She sure looks pretty pleased with herself for someone who's only in the movie for about five minutes. Well, let me move out of the way so I can see what's here. Magical animal, animal companion heel rescue is your favorite Japan <laughs> Japanimation. It's about this girl, Shika, who goes to school sometimes and has a regular life. Boring. Yeah, but whenever a magical animal has been hurt, Sheikah becomes Princess Sheikah and she rides her dear companion to go heal them. <laughs> That's the whole thing. It's great. No fighting. Just healing. You love it. <laughs> okay then. Acorn's Shadow is surprisingly dark for a show about a group of horse friends. It canters down some troubling psychological roads. <laughs> Hot steppin'. <laughs> You don't really perform the styles of dance that this movie make such a pulse bound that make this movie such a pulse pounding barn burner of a smash hit, but you'd certainly like to someday. Okie doke. Canadian Campfire Spookums. <laughs> Is this like? Oh, what's it called? Like, uh, are you afraid of the dark or whatever? I know, I know there was like a book series and they got turned into a show. And it's like Goosebumps, but Canadian. <laughs> or something. <laughs> it's, it's something... It's about these kids who get together in the woods every week, and one of them throws dust at it in a fire, and they tell a scary story. And that scary story is the episode. You guess you kind of focused more on the framing narrative than you did on the stories, but whatever. It's the best. Just like you said. Okay, then. The goal of this game is to get four of your colored circles in a row before your opponent, who's trying to do the same. You can also theoretically connect five if you're <laughs> kind of a showy jerk. I play that with my mum when I go to visit her. She's way better than me at it though. Look. You really like this poster, but you can't really say why. It's pretty, and you like the expression on the ballerina's face. You wonder if this is what, it, what it's like when adults go to museums and look at actual art. You hope so. I guess we can appreciate it. You give it a good, a good hard stare. <laughs> yeah, you're appreciating the heck out of this art. It would be difficult, if not impossible, for anyone to appreciate it more. <laughs> okay. That is a lot of Rubik's Cubes. What is this? You really get a charge out of this game. It's kind of bossy, though. I'm guessing this is where our batteries are. Alright, that's where you put the water walkie-talkie batteries. You just take them back out. Okay, one more game for old time's sake first. Jude's probably fine. Oh, looks like the green button isn't working. <laughs> well, nostalgia satisfied. Might as well scavenge the batteries. <laughs> oh, 
Homestuck may have been a very confusing narrative, but its humor works very well <laughs> for a point and click. Oh, it's one of those crocodile toys where you you press the teeth and it chomps down on your hand. <laughs> Man, why why do I feel nostalgic for things I never owned? <laughs> it's just oh, reference, reference. <laughs> That's all this game is so far. <laughs> Success, the walkie-talkie works like a charm now. A charm with battery power. <laughs> you feel pretty pleased with yourself. It would seem you just solved your first puzzle of many, on what is sure to be a sweeping adventure full of mysterious brain busters. Then again, putting batteries in a, th in a thing isn't technically solving a puzzle, you suppose. It is just overcoming a minor inconvenience that you created yourself using mundane, widely available technology. <laughs> you don't care, though, you can't get that. <laughs> Oh shoot, I should, I should... Oh, what do I, what do I want to make her sound like? Oh, they're supposed to be American, so at the very least I can put an accent on. Jude, you there? Are you alright? Yes. Bean co covertly, covertly signaling status and requesting yours, over. <laughs> you mean the lantern? I don't know Morse code. Would never use such an easily decipherable code. Over. Enemy agents everywhere. Over. Wait, unover. Still, still unconfirmed fee of e, your condition following enemy serpent encounter. Over. Please report bite status. How many and how gross. Over. I'm fine. No, no bites, you weirdo. But thank you for asking. It was a close one. Great, was worried. Over. That reminds me, after I shut the door on, I think I heard it clopping, clopping off back down the stairs. I don't think you should leave your treehouse anytime soon. It might be headed back your way. No plans of leaving current location. Yard crawling with cryptid vanguard. Over. <laughs> cryptid v vanguard? <laughs> Missing big picture, Joey. Over. <laughs> okay, maybe a little less obtuse then. Okay, maybe be a little less obtuse then. Purely defensive posture, tactically suicidal. Monsters likely just distraction. Could have a pr obscured additional agents on approach. Over. Do you mean like more monsters or? Can't discuss on unsecured channel. Can't be certain who's listening. But evidence that points to. An An Antara's class conspiracy cascade. Over. What? Over. <laughs> Relieved you are taking this seriously. <laughs> are you totally prepared to begin forward operations? No. Nah. No going back now, Joey. Over. I was making fun of you, dweeb. I'm not going anywhere. Trust crucial on, on battlefield, on the battlefield, Joey. <laughs> Hoping presence of monsters has tipped equation from typical ske skepticism over. <laughs> Trust is... Uh, okay, that's... That's fair. Okay. What do I need to do? Your current position is not secure. Large yard facing windows. Location compromised to enemy. Situation rapidly deteriorating. Must abscond to attic. J Joey, over. The attic? Yes, the attic. Oh, I think... I, should, I shouldn't be clicking through the... My, ma my, my wireless mouse is garbage, and sometimes it clicks twice. <laughs> And sometimes it doesn't click at all. So I should I shouldn't be using that because I think I just accidentally skipped a bit of dialogue. Well stocked with tactical material. Left out of Left take left out of bedroom, go upstairs. Highest room in the house, over. I know what the attic is, Jude. It was just a weird suggestion. What else is new? More inscrutable rambling from my treehouse lunatic brother? Don't understand. You sounded confused. Trying to help. Over. Look, just shut up, okay? I'll sneak up there, lock the door, and you can... Call the cops? Negative. Must assume local law enforcement compromised. Oh, right. 911 blocked our number after your prank calls. Drills! <laughs> Not pranks. Xenomorph incursion preparedness drills. 
Look, failed miserably by fat cat xenomorph collaborations of Horn Haunt Switch PD. <laughs> Jude, on our own, as a house, as a species, over. Jude, I'm going to go to the stupid attic, okay? I'm sorry for being mean. Do you have your weapon over? I, I, I was going to click on what weapon, but okay. Why would I need it? I thought the plan was for me to sneak into the attic. Serpent swarming everywhere, over. You want me to fight them? With a flashlight? Don't blame, don't blame me for being nervous with high concentration of serpent presence. Must be brave. Your brother believes in you and knows you can beat the serpents. Over. Stop saying serpents. Do you recall where your weapon is? Over. Yeah, it's in the closet. Understood. All set then. Over. No, I mean the hall closet. Crap. Over. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess I'll have to take your word on about all this. You are sure about all this, right? Oh, not space. <laughs> Absolutely, extremely certain. Over. Over and out, squirt. Over, but we just started. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to the hole. Uh, the hole. Out into the hole. We're leaving the room. Oh, what's in... This is where you keep your clothes. You consider your fashion statement to be fun and comfortable, and try to mo model yourself on Clarissa. Ah, Clarissa. <laughs> she really does explain quite a few things. Except, of course, precisely where she gets her clothes and how she manages to look so great all the time. No idea who Clarissa- oh, it's this lady. <laughs> you try to remember if Clarissa ever got into <laughs> any jams like this. You have so much in common. Annoying little brother. Computer in your room. Uh... Second story bedroom. <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, Clarissa's life deviates from yours on a number of vertices. Her parents were around, she had a cool friend who was a boy but not her boyfriend, no monsters in the yard, etc. <laughs> you try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offer- Oh, you could try on some new clothes, but what's a style montage without at least one party offering compulsory reaction shots for each outfit? Who's going to give you an affirming head nod when you finally nail it? There are important things to consider before you carelessly plunge headlong into a style montage. <laughs> okay then. Let me look at the calendar. It is the 11th of November. Today started off to like, just like any other day, with another sunrise and the sound of songbirds going hog wild out there in the trees. But their songs have all but stopped. And now there's something else going hog wild out there. You don't know what it is, but it ain't birds, and it sure as heck ain't hogs. <laughs> I guess we'll mark the calendar before we leave. Oh. You've already marked today's date as part of your daily routine. If anyone claims you didn't exist on the date of November 10th, 1994, you can show them that big red X right in their face and prove them wrong. I thought it was... Well, you said it was the 11th. It wasn't locked. <laughs> Looks like the coast is clear. For now. Is that freaking... They freaking referenced Pants Cat? Oh no. No, I think Pants Cat was referenced in the original Homestuck, and then this is referencing Carcat's ancestor. <laughs> I think. I don't know. I, I have, like, vague recollections of many, many years of Homestuck. <laughs> Looks like the coast is clear for now. You better hurry over to the hall closet and retrieve your weapon before that crafty old serpent, you mean snake, can get the drop on you. <laughs> Jude, what do you want? So I should get my old weapon from the hall closet and then head up to the attic, right? Affirmative. Also, refrain from excess chatter. Over. Alright, yeah. Bye. Could alert monsters, over. Yeah, I got it. I'm going, bye. Can't be too careful in espionage game, Joey. Silence golden, over. Dude, shut up. <laughs> remember... 
Remember one time on training mission, couldn't keep my trap shot. Who boy really landed us in a pickle over. You never had any training. I'm turning off the walkie-talkie. Bye. Over and... <laughs> your mother It's your mother's jewelry box. A priceless heirloom of immeasurable sentimental value. Also, there appears to be some of your brother's empty can of sprinkles. <laughs> this thing's always given you the creeps. But that didn't stop you from patching it up after Jude accidentally ripped it with an experimental foamless dart. What? Oh, are they like... These don't look like foam darts. This gun can shoot a stream of water up to 50 feet away. Too bad you don't use guns. All oh, right, I forgot about... You don't use guns, yeah. Everyone's got their own... Strife Specibus. Those are definitely words. <laughs> words that exist and are real. Is this the way to the attic? This is the way to the attic. So we're not supposed to go here yet. We need... A torch. This way, I suppose? <laughs> it's light bright! Hours of fun! With, with the number of hours and the degree of fun depending on the power of your imagination. Which in your case means many hours and a lot of fun. <laughs> It's light. Oh, it's a little symbol on a... a thing. On a shirt. There's the dog. <laughs> How many different patterns are there? Oh, then, then there's... a little family. <laughs> oh, the swirly. That's an important thing. Just like this. Oh, that's probably Jude's room. <laughs> this is the door that your neurotic dork of a brother has mac. This is the door to your neurotic jerk of a brother. Dork of a brother's maximum security bedroom. <laughs> he keeps it locked up tight because all this, because of all the silly conspiracy work he does in there. You sincerely doubt you'll be entering this room anytime soon. But really, why would you even want to? It's full of nerd stink and gooba crunk. <laughs> crud. Not crunk. Crud. Not to mention it's where his pet usually lurks. You love all animals, but just the same, the one... That's one you'd rather let Jude deal with. Wonder what it is. What is this? You've always been a bit creeped out by the monster in the water. It feels like the eye is following you. But only sometimes. That's going to be important. I feel. It's the hallway closet. If memory serves, there's a box full of some old belongings of yours in there. I wonder if it has what you're looking for. That box has the stuff. That box probably has the stuff you need. <laughs> but you can't reach. Hmm, you wonder what your next step should be. Actually, your tap shoes might be the solution to this problem. If you could just get a good stomp going, you might be able to tumble that box right off the shelf. Okay. So I guess we need to go find some tap shoes. The lamp's not even plugged in, but there are at least nine possible light, light sources in your immediate area. So maybe you got lost in the... So maybe it got lost in the typically well-illuminated shuffle. So I'm going to guess that the tap shoes are probably back in Joey's room, in the closet. No. Where are my tap shoes? Thing up here? No. Okay, maybe I should just be exploring, <laughs> see what we can find, because it does not look like, oh no, no, yes, no. Oh, that's, that's one of those viewfinder thingies. Oh, I'm, I'm dumb, they were right on the frickin' door. I walked right past them. <laughs> Along with ballet, you also study tap dancing. <laughs> 
You haven't decided which you prefer. Ballet is fun, but tap's also fun in a different kind of way. You've considered blending the two. Wearing one tap shoe and one ballet shoe at the same time. But decided to fully master both and open respect of your teachers before unveiling your boundary shattering ballap style <laughs> to the world. You add the tap dance ability to your technique, tech niche. Yep, those are words. Those are the words that refer to those concepts. You learned them literally just now. I'm fairly certain Abilitech and Techniche were introduced solely for this game and did not exist in the original Homestuck. Although the original Homestuck has just as many stupid made up words. <laughs> These will help if there's anything you need to shake up or shake off, or just in when you're in the mood to shake it. No, don't. We need to go outside. Okie doke. I'm not gonna click on everything anymore just because it's gonna take too long. I'm just gonna click on the stuff that interests me. What is that? I swear I've seen... I've seen the toy that it's based on. I don't know what it is, but it looks familiar to me. You pick through the... You pick through the box and find your flashlight and an, an old pair of ballet slippers. These will come in handy. Oh, hey, there's some pet treats in here too. You keep caches of these all over. I think I, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Never know when you'll need to treat a pet. You go ahead and try your flashlight. Click, click, no dice. Another battery problem. You open it up. Wait, there were no batteries in here at all. Just a bunch of stupid pogs. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Homestuck's back in pog form. Found my old strife weapon. Guess what? It's full of your stupid pogs. Cramp, forgot about all those. Please keep safe. Over. Okay, but I'm not going to take especially good care of them. Please protect Mulder at all costs. Over. Ugh, you and Mulder. This Scully Pog is on. This Scully Pog is obviously where it's at. Terms acceptable. Please keep them safe. She if she's yours, over. So I guess I better head over to up to the attic now. That is the plan. Over. I better shake a leg then. Affirmative. Over and out. <laughs> I'm guessing the attic is probably going to be locked, and we're going to need to find the key. <laughs> Up we go. Well, we can click on this. <laughs> you got this toy caterpillar so you could learn how cute, how to cure caterpillar diseases. But it turns out plush caterpillars don't get sick. <laughs> Still pretty cute though. <laughs> Let me click on it. Caterp the caterpillar can't help you, and you can't help the caterpillar. Not a productive friendship, but at least no one's being taken advantage of. <laughs> You loathe to touch and disturb whatever astronomically improbable equ equilibrium is at play. Best to leave it be. A bunch of stuff that should be moved into the attic. There's some toys here too that you don't play with that much anymore. Basically a pile of useless trash, okay. On, rare on the rare occasions he is home, Pa can be heard bumping up here while tending to his hoard of stupid antique trash. Or priceless artifacts, you mean. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's locked, but you need to get in here as soon as you can. You peer through the keyhole. Ominous. That sure do be a thing. Weird. What the heck was that thing? And how long has it been here? There. Hey, the the attic door is locked. Christ, forgot about that. Tactical blunder on my part. Over. It's fine. No big deal. Just left the safety of my room to be eaten by monsters in the hallway because my dorky brother has sent me to to the safety of the wrong side of a lock. It's not fine. Over. <laughs> Jude. 
panic not necessary. Still need to get you to attic over. For safety, right. Well, whatever. I'm trusting you, I guess. Appreciate that, over. Although so far it hasn't really paid off. Joey, please, just need you to head head to trophy room, over. Gross, I hate that place. Why does he even need a special trophy room when our whole house is just his dumping ground for whatever garbage he picks up on his stupid adventures? We'll find key to attic there. Mysterious whims of absent father, not re relevant, over. Fine. Over and out. Trophy room we go. Hey. Out we go. So now we need to- oh. Why are you still pinging me? So head to the trophy room? Affirmative, over. Got it. Over and out. Why was it flashing to tell me that? It's this way, maybe? Like goofy ass face. Some great photos and portraits of your mostly great family. You decide to take a closer look. A lovely diptych of school portraits. The laser background, the bad hair days, simply perfection. Haha. <laughs> Jude puts the dip in diptych. I I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. You mutter to yourself, such an unreal burn on the unsuspecting chump, but he probably wouldn't even get it. Come to think of it, maybe, maybe neither do you. <laughs> Ooh la la! That there mum is looking tray glamnifique. I am 100% certain that is not a real word. When you grow up, you hope this is what mirrors will look like. Well, they really do let you click on, like, literally every one of them. Oh, okay. <laughs> so these small ones go together. There aren't any pictures of the three of you... Three of you together, so you tried to make one. Though the art of comp... Through... Through the art of composition. <laughs> By hanging these three solo photos together, it's sort of like there's a photo of all three of you. Sort of. <laughs> you and a very good dog. Ah. <laughs> Pa and someone you presume is his sister? Nobody he's ever mentioned. Not that, the, not that the two of you talk much. Kind of weird think you might have a second cousin out there you've never met. Maybe she died young. The old timey, the old timey times were pretty rough. <laughs> what the hell is going on with this one? You and Jude have a lot of fun memories with your babysitter. By now you... By now... Pro Oh, by now probably more than with mum, mum and pa combined. You'd always thought of her as the kind of cool and fun older kid you wanted to be. Until you got old enough to realize she's a pretty sucky role model. <laughs> you wonder what her family is like, but it's probably not your place to ask. Mum is the great- Mum is the picture of grace and radiance, and pa is just pa. <laughs> Seriously, has he ever changed his look? Sometimes you wonder if he was born with his spectacles and moustache. Or perhaps, or at least one of the two. He was born with his glasses. I'm just now noticing, Jude actually has a bridge for his glasses, but Pa doesn't. Pa used to be great with animals. You wonder what happened? Maybe a betrayal? No, impossible. Look how good that dog is. That dog never betrayed anyone in his life, his entire life. You would stake your entire reputation on it. The whole thing. Okay. I got an email. My phone buzzed at me. <laughs> Ugh, you can't even look at this picture. You deplore cruelty to animals. One of the many ways you and your father never saw eye to eye. One of the other ways was how he never actually looked you much, looked at you much, let alone in the eyes. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, that's enough wasting time on pictures. 
Let's go find this here trophy room. What is this? This guy, what's he happy? What's he so happy about? Anyway, his expression probably made more sense in its original context. That is to say, whatever tomb or temple or whatever that your pa plundered him from. Okay. Oi. Well, it seems the power is out. That should make the trophy room, room quite an adventure. Quite the adventure, which is to say, not quite the adventure you, <laughs> you wish you were having right now. Well, it would seem the... oh, <laughs> wrong voice. Well, it would seem the power's out. Classic PSYOPs, over. What? Credit where it's due. Best way to de dis destabilize countermeasures. Leave you in the dark. Literally. Over. Not literally. It's still, like, late afternoon. I can see fine. Should have no trouble getting to trophy room, then. Over. Fine, then, Mish Mr. Mission Control. Great. Over and out. Oh, yes, great. Over and out. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like I should should have given Jude a less annoying voice. But, oh well. That's his voice now. He's a nerd. A beanbag chair, super comfy, and thankfully not filled with real beans. <laughs> you could take take a nap, but you've kind of got a lot going on right now, you know. True that. This bookshelf contains several of Pa's books, including pistols to pelts, how to turn sweet, intelligent animals into weird rugs and stuff. <laughs> Teach yourself taxidermy, I guess. <laughs> And Safari, stories of bold men and the animes and an, <laughs> animes and the animals they killed from a distance, even though they weren't hungry and did not intend to eat them. Okay, I guess we're going over over this way, and we're suddenly greeted. Pet vet, the doctor is out. Oh look, it's the blue ladies. <laughs> The ladies in these paintings are eerily beautiful, although maybe everyone would look like that in blue. The lamp, goodness, you'd like to meet the lady who modeled for that for it someday. Okay then. There is certainly a dude out there. Not a dude I would like to run into. I assume this is the door we were trying to reach? What is going on here? The sound you've heard since entering the kitchen grows louder as you approach. What sound? I can't hear Jack. <laughs> I guess there's a weird... ambience? Didn't realize there was supposed to be a sound. The sound you've heard since you entered the kitchen growls louder as you approach. The awful static is like nothing you've ever heard, and you want to go back to not hearing it as soon as possible. You turn the radio off. Okie doke. Your babysitter has just really atrocious taste. You're only 14, and even you can tell this is just really crummy. Don't know what that's referencing. You open the battery compartment. Get batteries, jackpot, D cells. You can never have too many batteries, and never in too many different sizes either. So now, we can power our torch. <laughs> Light weaponry. Another... I, actually, I don't know whether... <laughs> I don't know whether OBS is actually capturing the Steam achievements that pop up in the corner, but oh well. Another electric device successfully powered through clever manipulation of resources in your immediate environment. You are on fire. <laughs> With your flashlight functionally fun fully functional and in fit fighting form, you feel significantly better equipped to handle most low-light environments and also beat the bejesums out of any of these creeps that get too close. <laughs> at least that's a lot of, at least although that's a large resort, of course. Look, you're not saying you never have home cooked meals. Your babysitter is a pretty good chef even. It's just that well, none of you like doing the dishes. <laughs> And the nice thing about takeout boxes is you, can, is you can just eat it right away, right out of the boxes, and then throw the boxes away. Of course, 
none of you really like taking the trash out either. I like never get takeout. I just buy a frozen pizza. <laughs> Easier. The tube highway that Jude's pet usually go get, uses to get around the house. You haven't seen it tonight, fortunately. Sort of heckin' hamster or something? This mummy is currently blocking your access to the rest of the house. He has been... He has been ever since your pa left him there months ago. Yeah, not a lot of chance of you being able to move Pharaoh Napoleon over there. Okay. I guess we'll go this way then. What's in here? Well, that sounds ominous. With your pa's strange affin- Oh, my brother's home. I'll, I will be right back. I need to help get the shopping in. Be right back. I have returned. Uh, hold on, I need to make a note for how much I need to transfer my brother for the groceries. Welcome back. Thank you, Nod. Thank you. 
Ayo, bye bye bye. Hey, how about what? My games. Oh no. There seems to be an error. Oh dear. Um. Oh no. So apparently, <laughs> trying to tab out of it, out of the game, I should have saved. Does, does the game auto-save? I hope it does. I'm guessing not, and I'm going to have to just try and rush through. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Is it back? It is back. Wait. Okay. If I click continue, what happens? God damn it. Okay. Well, we've we've already read all the stuff. <laughs> we've already read all the stuff. I will uh, just blitz through it, and then as soon as we, as soon as we get back to where I was before, I'll uh, I'll I'll remember to save this time. <laughs> Gosh darn it! Would be nice if I could skip this somehow. But there doesn't seem to be any prompt to be able to do that. Man! <laughs> At least we get to hear this music again. Okay, we're back. We need to grab the walkie-talkie. Wonder if it'll let us... Yes. Speed run. <laughs> Speed run time, let's go. So now we need... No, we need to open this. Challenge. Blah -dee blah. There we go. We have batteries. Yep, yep. I'm fine. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. blah. Why? Whatever. <laughs> Righty up. And now, I think that's all we need from our bedroom. Oh, right. <laughs> Forgot we needed to do that first. Get. So there's going to be a lot of text to skip through here. <laughs> right. Bloody bloody blah. There we go. Jude, what do you want? <laughs> if writing a diary about tactics, please share. Over. I'm hanging up now. Not a phone. Over. <laughs> Click dial tone. <laughs> Can see you through window. Are you making? You are making sound with your mouth over and over. Well, glad we got to see that at least. Anyway, body blah, blah. Don't worry about Jude. Go straight from straight to the cupboard. Do a dance. There we go. Fine. Okie doke. Then we gotta go up so that he can 
tell us about how the door's locked. Blah de blah. I still feel so dumb. Save regularly. I'm so used to games auto-saving. I just didn't even think about it. Okie doc. Back down the stairs we go. And over this way. Oh. Power's out. Not even gonna answer Jude this time. Don't worry about it. Run over this way. Ignore the dude in the back. It's an interesting house layout. Oh, okay. Forgot about the radio. Turn the radio off, pop open. Get batteries. There we go. There we go. Now, where do I save? Did that work? There it is. Alright, now we can explore the basement. Sure do be a lot of things here. With your pa's strange affinity towards the Betty Crocker brand ever apparent, this musty old junk mainly consists of all the cooking implements, all sorts of cooking implements ranging from the familiar to the enigmatic. Really now, you can't tell what a whisk is for. You can tell what a whisk is for, but some of this stuff looks downright unethical. It's also in your way, so you can't reach the circuit breaker. This dude... Oh, it doesn't seem to be working in here. You're even more creeped out than you already were, which was severely. Okay, let's start moving. Try to move one box, and the whole pile is liable to come tumbling down on you. You need to find some way to get them all moving at once. Shake them up somehow. A controlled tumble, that's the ticket. Okay. Shake them up, you say. Okay. <laughs> that certainly worked. Your babysitter sometimes cracks into your dad, your pa's special reserve, and she tends to do it down here, so you and Jude don't see. You aren't really sure what to say about it, or if it's you even have any business saying anything at all about it. About it at all. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> I'm not good at speaking. You cleared the boxes away with your fancy footwork. Now just give the breaker a tug or whatever, okay? Flip breaker. You flip the breaker around. Oh dear. There certainly does appear to be something in here. Oh you Jesus! <laughs> Heckin' jump scare. <laughs> Jump scare serpent. Strife. You've got no chance of beating this thing. <laughs> Get away. Step on it. Step on it, you say. Um. Shuffle and scoot. The room where it slappens. <laughs> dis. 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 dis, 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 dis I, I have no idea what that just said. Love how they just give you absolutely no explanation. Graceful abscond. <laughs> Prima abscond, <-jo. laughs> Okay then. Power back on. You're you're doing or psyops of enroaching forces. Over. 
G give you back light, only to snatch it away. Described hypothetical very, cu very cruel. <laughs> Dealing with sick operators over. No, it was me. Crim no, it was just me. Criminy Jude. That snake monster is down in the basement, by the way. I managed to get past him, but we'll probably need to deal with it at some point. Second encounter with said serpent. Correct? Beast Wily. But sister already established superior over... Superior wiliness attribute over. Hey, thanks. I think. Trophy room should be trivial obstacle over. Wait, what? Attic key, Joey. Eyes on the prize. Keep me in the loop over and out. <laughs> if we could move this over here, we could just straight up... We could just straight up block... <laughs> block the serpent in the basement. That'd shake this mummy, Napoleon guy, right out of his busy aesthetic. Which would be one way to get past him, but it would make an awful mess. Joey. <laughs> oh, you never dance with soldiers. They'll just steal your heart <laughs> and then leave on a three-year tour. <laughs> okay, so we need to go find some other way of getting past Mr. Napoleon. Your sweet, loyal dog, dog loves that flap. Jude likes it. Used to like it too when he was younger. He still likes it. The backyard used to be so much more awesome before the monsters showed up. <laughs> you really don't want to go out there right now. Tempting though it is to go rake up more leaves. Ah, oh, the struggle of the monster-bothered leaf pile enthusiast. You keep meaning to start a zine. Alright, guess we gotta go look for stuff. Some way of... Some way of getting rid of Napoleon. <laughs> These used to be stacked neatly on the shelves, but your big dog came clambering through and slammed right into them. They tumbled everywhere. That was about three years ago. You aren't great housekeepers. <laughs> Ooh, this is a room we haven't been in yet. Oh, this is the trophy room. Oh, hello! Another monster. With oddly human legs. So, what if I flashlight? Light on, light on your feet. Okay, no. Light bite. Jaw ready for this? I don't know if you can actually lose here or not, but I'm gonna save just in case. Oh, did it? Did that? Okay, yeah. Didn't give me any confirmation. Uh, maybe we have to dazzle it with our tap da dancing skills. Ma main roars? Cho choose your battle. <laughs> These are definitely some puns. Well, maybe we feed it. Opening course. And then it's too busy chewing. F Fletcher is on the prize? What? And then we kick it. Then we okay, no. The answer is no. Maybe I can... <laughs> Chew to tango, okay. Bite and lock next time. Maybe the pogs then. Fruitless endeavor. Okay. I am confused. Really enjoyed that pet treat. Maybe you don't need to fight him after all? Do I just keep giving him... Anyone for seconds? Make mine a double. Why is the... What if we throw it out of the room? <laughs> it follows it, okay. There we go. I had the right idea, I just needed to click on him. Treat to a pulp, okay. <laughs> I wonder if there are any times when we're actually going to have to fight. And not just abscond. 
All right. Monster inflicted death scene avoided. You are unbelievably stressed out right now. <laughs> Hold on, let me... Yeah, I want to get a print screen of that. <laughs> so I can make a meme later. Congratulations, you've ascended to rung two. Attained a max rank... Attained rank of tallywagging Tyro. Tyro? I don't know what that means. Max HP increased by 12, muscle increased by 7. Congratulations, you've ascended to rung 3, attained rank of my... Minute Mammal Mender. Or Minute mal Mammal Mender? I don't know. Dexterity increased by 2, grace increased by 6, leverage increased by 5. I'm not reading all of these. Oh, there was only one more, never mind. Okay, door's closed, so we can get to exploring. Look. Your pa's love of globes knows no bounds. But you don't recognize any of the continents on this one. You'd have a better idea of what you were looking at if you could read the, these scribbly labels. All you can make out... All you can make sense of is the X mark. Could it indicate... Treasure? Spin. I'm guessing... This is supposed to be... The troll homeworld. You spin the globe and watch the white beams rake across the surface. Okay. <laughs> this is exactly the kind of thing you wish wasn't in your house. Why couldn't your pa just leave the, the regular eyes in? And also, more importantly, leave their head attached to their body. You'd like to put something in those sockets, but what? And also, wait, why do you want to do that so much? That's weird. So, where is- where is the key? In his desk or something? Would never leave critical item in such obvious location all over. Okay, but like, where did you leave it? I had to lure a hungry monster out of here with treats, and I'm not sure how much time I have before- have for brother-sister conspiracy capers before it comes back. If room compromise can't discuss countermeasures over unsecured line. Utilize puzzle- puzzler skill set over. Ah, fine. Call back if assistance required, over and out. Okie doke, what if we put pogs in the ice? Pogs in the ice? You can never be so rude and cruel to such a sweet big kitty who's also already suffered so much. Something definitely needs to go in the empty sockets though, if only because you are getting creeped out. <laughs> As if being dead weren't enough, your pa replaced his eyes with some creepy glass orbs. The light reflected in their facet and stare gives you the creeps. But, are you crazy, or is there some light reflecting off this antler, too? Perhaps it bears closer examination. I see. What if we pull that? Well, that certainly did something. <laughs> Jude, I can't make heads or tails of this thing. What thing? I, I turned on a laser, but that's it. Nothing else is happening. I thought you were the puzzle master. Was, was wrong, it seems. Over. Hold on, over. Believe this calls for. Burns! McGruff crime dog experiences trouble. Unbelievable. Over. Wait. Disregard previous burn. Superior <laughs> formulated. Ace Ventura pet detective. Please respond when ice if required. <laughs> nice try, dork. Maybe if you were a real tactician, you'd manage to get your burns out the f on the first try instead of requesting do-overs. Pride wounded, but unable to protest. <laughs> Have been informed mildly con mildly contentious banter, banter, cornerstone of squad camaraderie. Over. Uh, yeah, anyway. How am I supposed to solve this thing? This is clearly a puzzle thing. This is clear... This... Oh, this clearly a puzzle thing that cries out to be solved. Use marbles, over. I'm, th I'm thinking as hard as I can. I know, you know I like puzzles. I wouldn't be asking if it weren't an emergency. Actual marbles, over. What are you talking about? Trivial, really, over. What marbles? I don't have any marbles. You don't? None nearby? Over. No! Oops, over. And now... You are now Jude Harley. 
And though tonight is apparently the night you've been preparing for, laying so many count, so many for preparations and countermeasures and counter countermeasures against, it would seem that, that a rare tactical that you made a rare tactical blunder. The marbles that Joey needs to disengage your strategic defense globe are here in your treehouse. Time to call in the lone gunbirds. When the heat is on from the government and you need to send an encrypted message while staying off the grid, you entrust you entrust it to one of your your trained carrier pigeons, the lone gunbirds. I missed. Okay, I know better than to use my mouse. Dear sweet Frohike, how you adore him. You cherish the wind he flaps. Tactical error. Consolidated all marbles here in Treehouse to prevent Attic Key from falling into the wrong hands. Over. Additionally, forgot about doing that. Over. No cause for concern. Putting Top Agent on it. Over. Wait, who? Did you get in touch with one of your friends, or... Oh, God. You mean one of your pigeons, don't you? Over and out. <laughs> All right, let's go find ourselves some some marbles. It's the perfect place to store your flares. Well, some of them. It's also where you keep your beeper, but you don't really want to get into that right now. What's a beeper? You retrieve a cache of flares you were keeping in your metal chest. Combined with your flare gun, they're a tactical treasure. Oh, is that an idle animation? I thought... I thought something was happening. The chamber is empty because you observe proper flare gun safety protocols. But maybe you should load it because you've also observed some scary stuff this evening. Load it. Breath held, hand steady, you carefully lowered the flares into the flare gun. There's no back going back now. The genie is out of the bottle. Okay. Where are these marbles? The heck is going on here? Your careful records of of the activity of the mysterious figures you often see prowling in the woods. Joey didn't buy it, but the sudden influx of monsters may have changed her stance. Okay, that's it. Yeah, uh, I, I can look out into the yard, but that doesn't really... You've already committed this crucial intelligence to memory, but a truly great commander keeps even better records. So we need red, red, red in that eye and green in that eye. <laughs> Left and right. <laughs> Why did I forget the words? Marbles. Okay, we need a red marble. Put a red marble in the pouch and a green marble in the pouch. And then we take the pouch. And we give this to the pigeon. Oh no. <laughs> oh dear. I thought it was just gonna fly back and then I'd have to use the, the flag on to distract it, but okay. Sorry for the sorry for hold up. Unbelievably tragic. Unbelievable tragic disaster over. Did you lose something else? My soldier on making second attempt now over. Uh alright. Are you sure you're over? Over and out for a hike. Well damn, I just I really just went and killed his pigeon. Sad. Let me look out into the yard. Maybe, but not yet. You're dealing with superior numbers here. It's critical that you wait for just the perfect moment to attack, otherwise you're just giving away your position, potentially your life, to agitate. I was gonna shoot the... the leaves, but okay. I 
But he's, he's just gonna let it happen. <laughs> yeah, okay. Betrayal, over. Abandonment, over. Lowest vile cowardice, over. Um, well... Can't even communicate true degree of outrage, over. Likely to jeopardize mission if emotion not suppressed, over. Uh... Incoming, over and out. Your hands are definitely not shaking as you pluck two more marbles from their safe, cozy compartments in the drawer and drop them into the depths of the pouch, pouch's waiting leathery maw. Okie doke. Let's, um, go with the last one. Is it going to let me intervene, or...? Okay, there we go. I guess the flare gun is for later. Third time's the charm. <laughs> Success! Jeez, I'm crows... Jeez, I'm crow buyers, my... My boy, so brave, so... <laughs> so true, so great, over. Are you actually just point-blank losing your mind now? It would maybe be kind of a relief after years of build-up, but you could have picked a better night for it. Mission accomplished. Buyers champion. Champion of birds waiting for you in the kitchen, over. Why? Over? <laughs> oh, Byers has marbles required to acquire a key. Alright, I guess that sort of makes sense. New development. Byers being menaced. Please hurry over. What? Uh, okay, I'm, uh, I'm on it. Hurry, jo Joey, please. He's all I have left over and out. Okie doke. I guess now we actually gotta fight a thing. To the kitchen we go! Why, why did you... Joey? <laughs> Joey, I wanted to go in that door, Joey. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> what is that pose? Alright. Use the pogs to get its attention. Flip skipped. Okay, didn't care. What if I give you food? No? Okay. Let's tap dance at it. Pardon me, boy. Ah, to give it attention. Can you give me a shine? Oh, give me a shine. And then... Now do we... Thousand yard a stair. Okay, now now it's looking the other way again. We need... Look over this way. And then... Food? No. Okay, no. Stalemate. Do I now use... Okay, so now that it is over here and is distracted? No. Okay. Get over here. Oh, now do I use the pogs? Now that he's up close? Yeah. Okay, maybe not. Why is this flashing? Okay. Magic spice mix. Okay. So, we need tap dancing to get its attention. Can you give me a shine? I can indeed. Use the light to get its attention. And then, throw some spice mix in its mouth. Spice to meet you!
Oh, we just straight up killed it. Okay. <laughs> Mixed success. We did it. Joey, thank you for your tactically brilliant seasonings murder. <laughs> seasonings murder. <laughs> Byers has payload. Repeat, Byers has payload. Over. Um, thanks. Um, do you know how I might get him down? He seems pretty terrified. Negative, Byers simply has unfortunate mercenary streak. Should respond to enticements over. How do you bribe a pigeon? Sounds like set up for riddle or perhaps joke over. Bye, Jude. Over and out. So we need to get Pigeon to come down. Hey. Oddly enough, you aren't sure these are safer birds. After the violent strangled death of that monster, you're a little nervous about just feeding random things to other feeding things to other other things at random. Maybe there's something safer around here, like bread? Bread like at least. Like that. I'm guessing that's not a real pizza. You visualize all the delicious items that could be in the cool embrace of the refrigerator, but are not. It's empty. Food shopping has become sporadic as of late. Turns out tipsy babysitters are fairly bad at responsibilities. Okay, so we need something bread like. Presumably from around the kitchen. What can we even click on? It doesn't seem like there's a... What is this? You're even out of dog food? Things have... Things really have gotten desperate. You guess you can't blame your babysitter for running off to the store for gro... For groceries at what was res retrospectively the worst possible time. It's actually more difficult to see through this window now that it has a hole in it. An interesting observation, Joey, but not the one we need right now. Oh, maybe in the trash? You're not sure why the trash is piled next to the fridge? Even animals know better than to let their food fraternize with their waste. Hmm. So I'm guessing it's probably not in the kitchen then. Oh, I can't go. I I can't go back to the basement. <laughs> there's a there's a snake in there, presumably. Or maybe. Can I? Oh, I can't go back to Jude right now. Okay. Let me check for some. Some stuff for the pigeon to snack on. Is there any food in here? Candle? No. Hmm. You can't tell if the noises you hear from the mon uh, from the monsters or the wind. It's either some particularly whooshy monsters or some very groany wind. <laughs> it is probably both. <laughs> hmm. Let me step over here so I can get to the door again. See if it'll let me. In. Leaving the protection of your home seems like a bad idea. Might be the creatures and weirdos are. Might be creatures and weirdos are hoy out there. You think you will stay inside, where your chances of meeting creatures and weirdos are still pretty good, honestly. Okay, let's um, let's go up the stairs, I suppose. See if there's anything up here. Can I call Jude? Okay, no, it's it's just. He's not a hint system, he just tells you the same stuff.
Can I... Can I go into his room? Evidently no. I didn't even read it, but oh well. There's nothing I can do over here, as it seems. Let's check Joey's room for snacks. Pigeon snacks. Damn. It seems like there is nothing, so this is this is clearly a conundrum. Alright, let's go back and see if we can figure it out. Maybe we do have to go back to the basement. <laughs> or maybe I just need to do some like freaking tap dancing or something. Back over to the other side of the house. And these odd perspective shifts. So, okay, no, it's the same. I want something bread like, but we don't have anything bread like. What if you tap dance at him? Nothing. Guess you already saw a bit, of, a fair bit of your fancy footwork when you were dealing with that monster. <laughs> What if I had ballet? Hmm, no response. Either that or he was completely enraptured by your elegance and grace. You prefer to believe the latter, but that doesn't really solve your problem. You need to tempt this little fellow Hello, with something bad. Like garbage, but food. Can I, I can't click on the dude. The dead dude. What if I... Oh, if you run down the battery, you have no idea when you'll get more. Better save it for when necessary, okay? Can we... Better not tempt fate. You barely escape... You just barely escape that serpent. You mean snake. You mean monster. It's just a monster. Snakes don't have legs. It has a ton of legs. Way more than you, even. You're more like a snake than it is. Okay, you've gotten away from your original point a little, which is you're not going back down there. Okay. So I need to... They're already on the floor. Remember to hydrate, folks. Oh. We haven't checked up here yet. It's a cracker! <laughs> <laughs> they seriously went and made a 3D model of a cracker just for that joke. My pigeon. <laughs> Feathery doofus acquired. <laughs> Success! This little fellow, Byers, you think? Yes, you're pretty sure this is Byers. Gobbles down the stale cracker as you tuck him into your pocket. Just got an entire freaking pigeon in your pocket? Okay. Joey's got some deep ass pockets. <laughs> She's got a little parcel. He's got a little parcel around his neck, which you're fine with letting him hold, hold on to until you actually figure out what you're supposed to do with it. Alright, back to the trophy room, I suppose. To solve the puzzle that we already know the answer to, thanks to having been Jude a few minutes ago. <laughs> okay, got the marbles. Do you want me to send the pigeon back? No, over. Okay. Sorry, didn't mean to shout, just worried. Please protect Byers. His chances of surviving return, tr r return trip are very remote. Over. Okay, yeah, good point. Seems pretty dicey out there. Affirmative, over. I'll just use these marbles, or whatever, then. I'll let you know how it goes. Affirmative, good luck, sis, over and out. There we go. He carefully removed the marble patch from around his neck, and believe it or not, shoved the marbles into the empty eye sockets. You discard the pouch. What an evening it's been. Then <laughs> um, I guess we spin this, probably? Oh, look. 
You got what you assume to be the attic key. Why is it even locked? Good, good question. Got the key, heading back up to the attic now. Careful, it may not be that simple, over. What do you mean? None of this has been simple. It's been, it's been downright convoluted. Noticing hostile elements grouping serpents massing over. Oh, jeez. We'll try to back you up if possible. Remain alert, sis, over. Always am, bro. Over and out. Oh, boy. I guess it's time for a serpent showdown. Perhaps. Oh boy. There be monsters aplenty. With odd amounts of arms. Oh jeez. Well that one's even got an eye. I think. At least I think that's an eye. Ah, uh, this... Are we able... Okay, we can't switch to Jude yet. I know at some point he's gonna use his flag on. Ah... Uh, we've got a lot of options now, though. Is... Hey, wait! Oh, is this a scripted loss? It appears to be. Ah, uh, so now we're able to switch. Hold on, let me save. Look out the window. Joey took a brutal hit. She's down for the count. You've got to find some way to distract these monsters until she can get back on her feet. Which is why we use the flag on. I guess shoot it inside the house. Set the freaking house on fire. Why not? Right, they're distracted. What if we just... Anything you toss in there, you're never getting back. Okay. Uh... So they're distracted, but how are we going to get past this dude? Do I just feed him like... Yeah, I, 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 that's the point. That's the point I was trying to feed him. Oh wait, this dude has an eye, doesn't he? He'd swallow you whole, okay. There's no way to get past this behemoth now, right now. Focus, okay. Give me, give me the good advice. Putting on, putting on the ritz. No vacancy. Hockey dog. Uh... <laughs> Pigeon attack. No. <laughs> nope. <laughs> okay. They're using a bunch of complicated words, but don't worry about it. Throw some pogs at him. That was just awful. <laughs> okay, so there's clearly something we have to do here. Huh? What if I just hit them? And this looks like a flare? Did you distract the monsters? Oh, Jude, you hero. Um, excuse me. Oh, nice. No excuses. So now, we switch to Jude again. I think, to fire another flare, maybe? Yeah, I'm, I'm trying. It's not... There we go. Player number two. At some point he's going to set something on fire. I'm certain of it. That is coming awfully close to the house. Right, then do I just grab their attention again? Yeah, there we go. You know, it sure is nice that this this big monster doesn't care about attacking him, it's just sitting there. Alright. Final flare, I think. 
Because the thing only showed three. Ah! Oh dear. And now there's a fire. Oh, and he just goes out to chase it. <laughs> well, at least he's happy. Joey doesn't know what to think. Oh! Oh, and now we just run for it, yeah. <laughs> well, okay. That's, um... That's one way to go about things. We've only actually taken out one monster by ourselves. The rest have, we've either avoided or they've been collateral damage. Oh, jeez. Oh, so they were supposed to be chasing us that entire time. It just didn't show it. Oh, and now we dropped the attic key so we can't get out. Lovely. Joey! Come in, please. Report status, Joey. Hello, it's June. Joey, are you okay? Joey, please. Over. Yes, I'm safe. I'm in the attic. Just barely made it. Phew. Over. Locked in, actually. I dropped the key. Safer in attic than rest of house. Key can be retrieved later. Over. I think you're right. The way they... I think you're right. The way they slammed through the living room window and the front door. If I'd stayed in my room, I'd be a goner. Separated... Separated us with Vanguard. Destabilized power. Probe defenses. Finally attempted entry through multiple points of ingress. Basic siege tactics. Over. I didn't realize you actually knew this stuff. I just thought you kind of liked pretending to be a spy or whatever. We'll take his compliment over. <laughs> anyway, thanks. So, I guess I'll just hole up here for now, I guess? Are you safe in the treehouse? You should try calling your friends or something. Didn't want to risk their involvement. Always, always a gamble engaging soldiers of fortune. But maybe time. Remain secure in location and ignore object under curtain. Over. Well, obviously I'm not going to ignore it. Joey, please! Oh. <laughs> what? It's a big mysterious thing under a beguiling, fluttery curtain. I have to at least peek at it. Pa pee peek at it. What is it, anyway? Data insufficient to determine. Over. Well, I'll, I'll just let you know when I find out. Joey, don't attack Ursley and happen over it. You there? Jo don't go. N portal, it's a really bad idea. Over it. Jude, can you repeat that? There's, there's lots of static. Joey, please. I can't lose you to. Please do. Go near the portal. Did you say portal? Oh boy. What is this thing? Is that a hand? Is that the monkey's paw? The legendary monkey's paw? Well, it turns out you live in a house that has a hand in a jar. You must now carry this knowledge with you forever. You, you've left the magnet long enough. In fact, as you stare at this gross, desiccated hand in the jar, you begin to suspect that the time for you to break open this this jar and slap an anonymously dead hand against your own alive hand has tragically passed. Aw. Another victor of Juve's overzealous crowbarring, no doubt. Any chance he gets to go prying and jimmying, the kid just goes nuts so. Okay. What is this? The handwriting is barely legible, and there's no return address, leaving you with no more information than you had had before you looked at it. Okay. <laughs> no, this really isn't that kind of mystery, the boring kind where you have to frequently refer to your rigorously maintained collection of shipping invoices in order to make any progress. You hate those. Since he got his first, his first best shotgun, this one fell out of favor and now primarily functions as a home to a thick layer of attic dust. Meanwhile, its favored brother is living out a shotgun's daydream in the hands of your pa. He uses shotguns? I thought he used blunderbusses. 
There is no chance you're going to pick up this gun, and you certainly aren't going to look and load anytime soon. It just isn't going to happen. Is that a Christmas tree? Why, why am I questioning that? That's the most normal thing to be sitting up in an attic. Is that Batman? That looks like Batman. <laughs> Disguising your identity and impairing your vision wouldn't really help matters much. You're pretty sure the monsters are going to eat anybody they meet. Is that... Okay, it, it, they give you two prompts, but it does the, the exact same thing. Mysterious... F <laughs> Why did she turn this way? <laughs> You can't, you can't avoid noticing the drape rustling around, although you really wish you could. Better to see what's under there now. How though, before it gets the drop on you. Let's -a go. There it is. The so-called portal. The keyhole! It calls out to your mind. Wait, what? You... Key. You picture your heirloom. Key. Get it. Use it. Start it now. Now, now! Key! <laughs> Why are there W's? Key. W, W, W. I, I, I'm assuming... I'm assuming the W's are being used the way... Like, Japanese speakers would use... W, W, W to mean, like laughter instead of lol but that doesn't really make sense in this setting so uh, I guess we'll just use the key what okay <laughs> that is uh <laughs> okay oh it's opening What is that thing on top? Is that a bird? And the snakes left up? And the red and green spiral. An ever important imagery when it comes to Homestuck. Don't know how it relates to them, this, this here portal. <laughs> Hive swap. Title drop. <laughs> so we just cross, cross into a parallel world or something, something along those lines. And now we're here. Oh, and suddenly, suddenly the interface is different. I think. Like, this has been about two hours. Should I keep going? I think there's enough left that... Yeah, I think there's enough left that we could probably continue this in another stream. Um, so I'm going to save here, because I do actually have other stuff i got to do today. Save that. So we'll come back to it another time. There we go. There we go. Uh, go back to the chat scene. Ta-da! Alright, so that's, that, that was Hive Swap. Um, I still haven't... You know, we still got a bit left in Act 1, from what I remember. So we'll... Probably not next week, but we will come back to it. Uh, thank, thank you for sticking around, Nord. I appreciate it. Um, is anyone streaming that we could oh pom pom streaming oh pom lobo <laughs> i call her pom i think i think her name's supposed to be lobo hold on let me figure out how to do this we could do a raid today <laughs> i haven't done one of those yet um hold on hold on Okay, slash raid user. Thank you for 
the info. Um, I do actually have a little raid message prepared. <laughs> this little silly thing. There we go. Alright, so, um, my next stream is gonna be over on YouTube, because I've still got some YouTube games I need to finish. Uh, same time as usual, 10am Australian Eastern Daylight Time. It's, uh, going to be Spore. Uh, because I still got a few things to complete. Uh, we're on the Civilization stage. If you only care about the Twitch side of things, uh, my next Twitch stream is going to be... Yeah, probably on Monday, 6 p.m. Australian Eastern Daylight Time. And I haven't made the schedule yet, but it's probably going to be Peggle again. <laughs> anyway, let me... I'm going to switch to the, the end screen, and then I'll start the raid. Okay. Thank you for watching. Otsukame! Bye-bye! Wee. Now let's see if I can figure out how to do this. Uh, slash red. There we go. Bye bye. <laughs>